So if you think about anything that you do on the web, you're probably interacting with forms in some way, shape, or form. Forms are everywhere. You can't really get around having to build with them, having to use them. So when it comes to building forms with inertia, there's a new form component that inertia has that takes everything that you typically would do within building out a form and just makes it simpler, easier. So why don't we take a look at how building forms used to work within Inertia and how this new form component is so much easier. So this form component is available within Vue, React, and Svelte, and it takes your forms from looking like something like this to something like this. Now I'm gonna be using React with Inertia for this particular example, but you can follow along within Vue and Svelte as well. Everything really boils down to how a form component condenses everything that you used to have to abstract. Now what do I mean? by that. The starter kit is a great example of how you might use form components as well as wayfinder methods to take everything that would have taken up a little bit of space within your own components and condense it all. So that way, instead of having to have a form method and have that uh, on submit method handle all of your data, the form component condenses it, pushes it into this component itself. With a wayfinder method of being able to have this registered user controller store form, we actually have a wayfinder video all about what this particularly means in itself. The inertia form component then says, when everything that exists within this form, in this case, we have an input with a name, we we have an input with an email, and then we have an input with a password. Within Inertia's new form component, all you have to do is make sure that there is a name attached to each one of those inputs, the values that you would like to pass into the form submission. The component then takes that and whichever method or whichever route you are passing in, again, this uses Wayfinder methods or just a particular slash route. And it's going to take all of those inputs, all of those values and push it to that particular route. So you can see here, this is a wayfinder method for the registered user controller. Within the store method, let's go ahead and find that. We validate information, we create a new user, send a new event, and then log in that particular user. With wayfinder and with this new form component, we're doing all of the hard work of capturing state data, of passing it to a particular route, validating it and returning it all within one single component. So it's nice to see how this could be easier for you now. Now, right? Especially if you're using a starter kit, the hard work is already done for you. Now for an incredibly simple example, a form that most of you might have created at some point in time in your Laravel journey, I want my users to be able to submit a message to the database. I have a chirp controller that takes in a message and then with the authenticated user, I need to create a new chirp. That's a model in my database. So having the form component means that we just need to pass it a method, a method of if that is a post or a patch or a delete. This is a form, an HTML form after all, just with some added niceties. Now, if you have not used Wayfinder, you can find a video up here talking about what Wayfinder is and what it might look like to use it in your projects, but we're going to use Wayfinder instead of passing it a specific route as a method. So instead of that route path and a method, I'm just going to pass it in a Wayfinder action. This is my new chirp controller that I created, but Wayfinder generated a store method. So that way for this store method, in the chirp controller. And you can see that here in this route, we have a chirp controller as a resource route. All of a sudden I have this store method that we can attach as a form and pass it in to this form component. So I'm not passing in a method and I'm not passing in a route path. Instead, I'm just passing in this wayfinder action and it does the rest. Now inertia does have some additional options that we can use if we wanted to keep the, uh, let's say scroll bar where it is. But in this case, I'm just going to reset on successful submission of this form, the message parameter. Next, we can pass in any kind of processing or errors. These are the data that we have within the form component method so that we can use that within our form, maybe to show that this form is processing or any errors that we might have within the validated 
submission. So now we have access to this processing method as well as this errors parameter so that we can either show that in our form or get the errors back and display them to our user. Since this is our starter kit, we're using Shadcn UI for things like label as well as an input to say, hey, here's the particular message that we have. And again, the only thing that is required for this form component is a name for each field that we are passing into the data options. Here's where we pass in that errors parameter, the errors of the message, and then we have our button. This is just going to submit that form method. It's not the prettiest looking, but it just does its job. Uh, it's a form that works as we would expect. When I type in a message, because I'm authenticated as that user, it is hitting that action in our controller and then saving it to the database as one of our users chirps. And there we go. That's that message that we just created. Now there are a lot of extra utility functions, additional state that you might need, as well as an incredible amount of useful options within the form component that it's almost impossible to be able to share with you on this video here. Everything from events, uh, if it's canceled while it's in progress, on error, on finish, as well as particular options to preserve the scroll or preserve the URL or which particular fields you might want to only use and accept data from. Overall, Inertia's form helper just makes things that you do every single day within an Alaria application that much easier and a lot cleaner too.